A monster winter storm is taking aim at Southern California, bringing very cold temperatures to the region, blizzard-like conditions to our local mountains. And snow could even fall in some areas that don't normally see the wintry conditions. We have live team coverage of the coldest storm to hit the area in years. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw is live with the latest preparations. But first, Vera Jimenez is here with your first forecast. V. Thank you so much. So yes, as we take a live look outside, this is our view from our Los Angeles International Camera. And as you can see by the way this camera looks, it looks like we've already gotten a sprinkle or two. Not much rain is actually making it to the ground, even though we do have very thick cloud cover. And in fact, uh, our future cast is actually picking up that cloud cover because it's so thick and translated it into what looks like rainfall. But as of yet, as you can see from our live view outside, we don't have much to report. Uh, we're also looking at the Max Doppler. And as we zoom in, you can see that most most of it is still falling over Northern California. Some of it is now making its way into Central California. And from there, it's going to continue to trek south towards Southern California. But as of now, we're not seeing much just yet. But I think that by the 10 o'clock news tonight, this will be a different picture. Looking at the weather headlines for you, this is going to be the coldest air mass of the winter season. We are going to see widespread strong winds, rain and snow and not just snow, but low level snow along the coast. It's going to be high surf, strong rip currents, dangerous conditions. And then, of course, for the mountains, the passes and the canyons, that low level snow and those strong and gusty winds are going to make it treacherous. If you're planning to go out there, uh, I would suggest maybe wait it out and don't go out there. And if you are going to go out there, make sure that you take chains and that you prepare accordingly because you may get stuck. They are planning and preparing for some road closures, especially along places like the Grapevine and perhaps some of the mountain roads heading up to our local mountains. 67 degrees, by the way, was the high over downtown Los Angeles. We already saw it drop below uh, average. Yesterday we were well above average and now a different view of this camera. This is actually our Huntington Beach camera and there you have it. We're finally starting to see a sprinkle or two land on that lens. We'll take a look at the extended forecast coming up shortly for now. I'll send it back to you guys. Vera, thank you. Caltrans is warning drivers as well. Don't leave your house if you don't have to. As you just heard, conditions could become very dangerous, especially through the grapevine. Some areas could see snow for the first time in years. KTLA is Jennifer McGraw joins us live from Santa Clarita, where preparations are underway to minimize the storm's danger. Jen. Yeah, sure, Micah. The temperatures certainly have dropped here in Santa Clarita, and it's only going to get worse. Thankfully, it's not raining. Caltrans says once the rain hits Thursday, it's not a good time to drive. So if you do have plans to drive over the grapevine, make sure you do it before Thursday. wintry weather is heading our way and so too is a strong warning for drivers. It gets really black ice and you do not want to travel on it because it's dangerous and people do not slow down. Snow over the grapevine is expected this time of year, maybe at most an inch or two, but forecasters are predicting up to a foot which could literally stall any movement over the mountains into Los Angeles. The storm might be even more impactful than the last one that we had, which was pretty serious. And the uh, snow levels may drop to 1,000 feet. At the top of the grapevine is a little bit over 4,000 feet. With snowfall that low, it could look a lot like this from back in 2011, with potential for some powder in the San Fernando Valley, Santa Clarita, and La Crescenta, where snow fell across the foothills and the valleys. This could be the largest snowfall totals we've seen over this winter and possibly for many years in our mountains. And it's not just snow that's going to be impacting drivers. Because even in, in the municipal areas, it's going, to, it's going to be impacted by flooding. Uh, even if it doesn't receive snow, it's going to it's, it'll probably get rain. Any wet weather and cold conditions could also mean ice on the roadways. Caltrans has been working around the clock to prepare for what lies ahead. For the past several days, we've already been out uh, patrolling, making sure that our drains and our culverts are clear, making sure the shoulders are clear. We'll have crews in, on all the freeways, all the highways, um, making sure that uh, the roadway is clear and safe to drive. Yes, yeah, so if you can stay home, then that's the best thing to do. And of course, not everyone can sit it out. If you do have to travel, make sure you have a full tank of gas and that you are prepared. And of course, if the snow plows are out there, move over a whole car length. We are live in Santa Clarita. I'm Jennifer McGraw. Back to you in Hollywood. Jen, thank you.